Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. Hey y'all, going to be working on another tumbler in this video. Uh, I have a current obsession with creating these things. They are so much fun. So uh, I have another show coming up in a few weeks. So I want to have uh, several of these done. So uh, these are so cool. And if you've never done, done a tumbler and you've always wanted to try it, let me encourage you to give it a go because it's really a lot of fun. But this one I'm going to be doing a little bit different. I'm not using any glitter on this at all. But I am using um, resin art luster pigments. And the first color I have is going to be the wild coral. If I can get my camera to focus. There we go. You can see it a little bit. But this is a beautiful shimmering color. And to go with it. I'm going to use Pink Mink. It is also a uh, luster pigment. And then for a little touch of gold, I'm going to be using Color Obsession 007. And this will be a two-tone ombre with just the gold scattered throughout at the end of... Um, getting all the resin on the cup. So I've already prepared my cup and I sanded it lightly, cleaned it, and then spray painted it white. And I'm using Pro Marine um, resin today. And got it mixed up. It is a one-to-one -one ratio. And you just smooth it all over the cup while the turner is going, making sure that uh, every bit of the cup gets coated with some of the resin, including the bottom. And when you first do it, it'll look kind of streaky where you've been wiping it on there, but hit it with your heat gun and or your torch in this case, and that will pop your bubbles and start allowing the resin to move just enough to get a nice smooth layer on there. And I've got my uh, resin pigments mixed up and we're starting off with the pink mink on the bottom and I don't want a ton of this on there so I've mixed up just a little bit and it, I'm not really pouring it on there so much as just using my stick and uh, swiping it onto the cup and then I'm using my finger to just spread it around and get it smooth onto the um, clear base of resin until I have it everywhere that I want it to be. And I know my hands are in the way and I'm really sorry. I'm working in a very cramped area right here. I actually have a cup on each side that's actually going as well. So i um, trying to do this and video it in a very, very small space. I just keep going around until I get it pretty much coated and then I'm going to hit it again with the heat gun and let it start smoothing out and I'm going to add a little bit more of the clear resin to it what I have left in the cup because I do have enough clear to um, I don't want to waste it and this could use a little bit more. I don't want to see the white shining through anywhere. So I'm just making sure that I get a good base on it. And I'm not forgetting to put some on the bottom. You want the design to flow. Some people uh, tape off the bottom of the cup right along that uh, line that's there. And so they have a silver uh, bottom to it. It's not 
spray painted or anything, but I kind of like my design to go all over the cup. And now I'm just adding the um, wild coral. You can't really tell a whole lot of difference yet, but you'll be able to see it in just a minute. But there is a difference, and these two colors go so well together. And you're starting to be able to see just a little bit of glimpse of that shimmering um, from the luster pigment. And I'm going to heat this up just a tad so that when I go to spread it, that it will glide easily. Getting a little close to the end of the working time on my resin. And again, I apologize for my arm being in the way, but you'll be able to see here in just a minute. And of course, I will have the finished photos at the end. So stay tuned for that, because this cup turned out gorgeous. I was going to put a decal on it, and um, when it finished, I just loved it just like it was. So I didn't do anything else to it, except, well, I take that back. I did add uh, some chunky glitter on the bottom of the cup before I did my final coat of resin. And uh, just gave it that little extra bit of bling. So I'm just going to try to smooth this on here and then smooth the colors into each other. Heating it up a little bit more with my torch. Smoothing a little more. And I felt like that it just needed a little bit more of the pink meat to make sure that I wasn't seeing any of that white undercoat. So I did mix a little bit more and poured it over the cup. You'll see that in just a second. But I wanted to make sure that I had really good coverage. And doing the bottom. It's a little bit awkward sometimes trying to get the the uh, my hand just at the right angle to cover the bottom of it, but it's doable. You can do it. And another little heat with the torch, making sure that I don't have any bubbles. And when I'm doing the top, I want to make sure that I go all the way up and over the edge of the rim. Um, once it is cured, you can just take your X-Acto knife, run it around the edge, and it takes away uh, any resin that you don't need. Um, and then gives you a really good seal all around the edge of the cup. So here I'm adding that extra pink mink. Making sure I got a really good coverage so you don't see the white. And as it's turning and that luster pigment is catching the light, you can see that shiny, glimmering, um, just absolutely gorgeous colors coming through. Just love these two colors together. And I got these from the um, color art. And she has, Leslie has some wonderful products. And uh, I absolutely love using them and seeing what I can make. I also decided to add a little bit more coral since I added a little bit more pink. So just heating it up and then I will spread it out. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. And here we go. Just making sure it's all nice and smooth. Going up to the edge of that rim and then trying to blend it gently into the pink mink. And 
again making sure that is covered well around the rim. And every time I do something to the cup, I do use my torch because I want to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles. So I'm ready now to add the gold and I'm just going to use my stir stick and just kind of stream it diagonally across the surface of the cup. I don't really want the gold to um, uh, totally blend into the other colors. I really want it to hold the uh, line design that I'm putting it on here. Um, the 007, when you use it, it does kind of like stay on top of your other colors. But it does, uh, when you hit it with your heat gun, it will kind of blend it and like web it across more than um, uh, than just staying in this line design like I got it here. I want to keep this just as it is, the little blotches, the little lines, and um, because I don't want it to take over the other colors. I just wanted to complement them. And um, I'm at the end of my working time with my resin, so uh, it isn't spreading across the cup. It's more or less just laying down on the surface of it, which is exactly what I was after. So I'm just going to give it just a little bit of heat so it does uh, lay flat and not raised up from the cup, but not too much to where it starts running or blending over the top of the um, pink ink and the wild coral. It's looking beautiful. You can see this sparkly shimmer. From the luster pigments, it's getting closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love this. And this is going to continue to turn uh, for about six hours. I usually let mine turn beyond the, the four or five that, that it's no longer running. Um, I don't want to take a chance of, if it's still tacky, uh, leaving a fingerprint. And then we're going to come back and check out the finished product. We got it all the way to the top, and here we go. The finished product, and you can see here where I did add the chunky gold glitter just at the base of the cup and across the bottom. But look at the sparkle on this thing. Please excuse the ring light. <laughs> There is no glitter in here. I did not use any glitter. This is the luster pigment. Is it not absolutely beautiful? It's so shimmery. Doesn't matter what angle the light hits it. It just looks so rich and deep. Totally, totally in love with this cup. And that little bit of gold, it didn't take over. It just 
accent of the cup. This one's already tagged for sale, so that's what the tag is. Uh, and every one of my cups also has a little um, care sheet of how to take care of it so that the customer knows exactly what to do with the cup and how it performs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like and share. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do so and ring that bell. You'll get notified when I upload future videos. Um, I'll be doing many more tumblers, uh, getting ready for my December show. And uh, each one will be unique and different. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the comment section. I love to hear your feedback and I read every one of them and the description of everything I use will be in the description box below and I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye bye for now.